from the Hornet Nation Broadcast Network, powered by KSAM Sports, this is Huntsville High School Hornets Basketball. It's time for the Huntsville Hornets pregame show. Let's go courtside and join the voice of Huntsville Hornet Basketball, Luke Scott. Oh, yeah, it's that time for the last time here in the regular season. Huntsville versus Kingwood Park. A win or go home scenario here for Huntsville. Welcome courtside for KSAM Sports. Luke Scott here alongside Carlos Zimmerman, Christian Cortez handling the camera tonight. Carlos, a win or go home game here for a playoff berth. Potential. Potential. There's, that, a, that, lot, there's a lot more that's going to go into it, but... Yep. If Huntsville wins tonight, they've got themselves in a good position to keep their season going. It's going to be a very exciting ball game. Of course, the last time these two teams met each other, Kingwood Park won at their place. But, you know, home court advantage is such a thing. So we'll see what Huntsville rolls out with tonight. They're going to definitely play with some gumption because for sure they want to give their one senior, Braden and Roselle, a shot at playing in the postseason. Just under seven minutes here to go tell tip-off. If Huntsville wins... Okay, and Porter loses. Huntsville and Porter will play in a wild card like play in game. And that will be on the, this Friday to determine who goes to the playoffs. So they're not in the playoffs if they win yet tonight, but it is kind of a playoff just because it's kind of like a, a play in wild card scenario. But Huntsville has to take care of business. Porter is going up against Lufkin tonight, and that one's in Porter. And Lufkin, as we all know, undefeated in district. All I got to say is if Huntsville wins tonight, we got a pretty good chance playing on Friday. Obviously, you don't want to downplay any opponent that you go up against because, you know, it's a different role. It could be a different team every night, of course, and you got to think about it. Maybe Lufkin could be resting their guys, getting ready for what could potentially be a very deep playoff run in the 5A, but you never know what can happen. Huntsville's just got to take care of their business tonight, Luke. If they can get the win, they got themselves in a good position to advance to a play-in game on Friday. Huntsville struggling in recent games, lost last time out against Lufkin, 84 to 50, and then took a loss there at Porter, 69-39. The last time Huntsville won was on the third of this month, and that was against Dayton, 70 to 61 victory. And that was the last game here in Huntsville at Paul Bowen Gin. So maybe two times in a row here, at Paul Bowen, can we get things going here? And really, Huntsville, the guys that haven't that, that have stepped up all year, a guy like Aiden Pearson, a Chad Johnson, a Brayden Roselle, a, a Keshawn Carrington, this is the time you need them the most. Absolutely. You need those guys to step up in a huge way, and if they are able to, they'll set themselves up for a great, great chance to be able to go to the postseason. They just got to lock in tonight, lock in and play good defense, and they'll be able to do just that. We'll be right, right back here five minutes until tip-off, we got the head coach's interview coming in next. But first, a quick sponsor. Thank you. From Horn Nation Broadcast Network, this is KSAM Sports. Hi, folks. Clint Mack here with Wiesner in Huntsville. And the new year has brought new inventory. We're getting truckloads every day of new vehicles. You've got to come to Wiesner of Huntsville to see the inventory and the deals. We've got GMC half-ton pickups starting at only $46,290. And you can take advantage of 60 months at only 2.9% financing. Don't let people tell you they don't have vehicles. Don't let people tell you you have to pay over MSRP. And don't let people tell you you have to pay high interest. Here at Wiesner in Huntsville, we've got inventory, low prices, and low rates. Come to Wiesner of Huntsville and see how we do it. Or visit us online at Wiesner Huntsville. Pre-game, Luke Scott here with head coach Jay Oliphant. Coach, last regular season district game here against Kingwood Park. A win can potentially get you a play-in game for the playoffs. Coach, last time against Kingwood Park, a tough game. What's got to change tonight? Oh, we just got to play well. Uh, sometimes we play well at first, but we've yet to put a complete game together. So we we'll put four quarters together tonight. Coach, a, la a rough one against last time against Lufkin. Um, what's got to change from that performance to this performance defensively and offensively to give you a chance to go against Porter, I believe, on Friday night? Well, I just think Friday night we were just clearly out man. Uh, I think we could have played a little bit better by putting the ball in the hole and played a little better defensively. But I just thought the moment was a little too big for us. Uh, tonight we just need to settle in and calm down and try to play well. Coach, you relied on a mul multiple guys to score the ball, Aiden Pearson. He wasn't able to really get going last time out. Is he the, the key reason to score and the kind of the key player tonight to – to launch this team to the next level? Well, I mean, he's been our consistent scorer all, all season. Uh, any good team is going to try to take him away and have other guys kind of step up to score. Now, some of the younger guys have done that. Chad and, and Brad has, and even Roselle from time to time have chipped in and scored. But uh, we need some of those other guys to come along and join the bandwagon. Coach, one more question about the big men. 
so far. Really incons inconsistent play from the past, you know, three or four game stretch. For them, what's got to change there to kind of make more of an impact on a Kingwood Park team that's pretty good down low? Uh, what's made it tough for us this year is that we've just been in, unable to score in the painted area. Uh, everything is either a jump shot or the guards have to create a play. We can just not dump it down and get a bucket. So, I mean, today we're going to try to throw it down there some. And uh, as a Kyrie and some of those guys need to turn around and look to score. I don't think they look to score the ball enough. So hopefully they'll figure it out tonight. All right, Coach, your keys to the game tonight. Just get a win. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. That was pregame there with head coach Jay Oliphant. We'll be right back here on the Hornet Nation Broadcast Network. This is KCN Sports. Hello, I'm Greg Smith, and I'm proud to be the owner of Huntsville and Walker County's premier funeral home, Sam Houston Memorial. What makes us the premier funeral home? The reasons are simple. Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home has the premier facilities in the area, and our directors and staff are top of the line offering premier care for you and your loved ones in their time of need. Locally owned and family managed for two decades, it's our family's honor to serve yours. Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, your hometown experts at celebrating life. Hey y'all, this is Josh Ward. When I'm not playing country music, I'm out driving my Ford F-350. I got from Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville, Texas. Your no bull headquarters. Whether I'm headed to the next show or down the road with the kids rodeoing, I know I can always count on no bull Bill to take care of us, just like he's always done. Bill Fick Ford, I-45 South in Huntsville, Texas. Check them out at BillFickFord.com. We'll see you on down the road. So Welcome back here, Huntsville, Paul Bowen, Jim, Luke Scott here alongside Carlos Zimmerman. We heard head coach Joe Finn's coach, or keys to the game. Carlos, let's hear some yours. You gotta rebound the ball very well and you've got to close out, <clears throat> excuse me, on, on the three ball because that's what Kingwood Park was so locked in on in their ball game last time at their place. So if you're able to rebound the ball well and lock in on down on their three, you will come away with a win tonight because you got good shooters. Braden Roselle and Brett Butler off the bench have been incredible three-point shooters, and you got great bigs underneath as well. So I'm expecting Huntsville to come out with a victory tonight. Hopefully they do not prove me wrong. We are recognizing our players here tonight. Parent aware, or I'm sorry, it's a parent appreciation night here. So we're going to try to get all of those Wonderful families and players' families on camera right here. Starting lineups for tonight. For Huntsville, of course, it's the regular five there. And Kashawn Carrington on the wing, Aiden Pearson on the wing at the on the point guard. Chad Johnson on the other side, Braden Roselle, and down low, Demarcus Williams. And for and for King the Kingwood Park Panthers here. It's uh, Trent Birmingham. Garda, Davion Sanford, Flores, and Henderson. Still trying to get their first names down here. So we're fixing to get up and go in here. Give us a minute or so. We'll be right back here for tip-off here coming up. about the death of a loved one but unfortunately it happens to everyone when that time comes you need a friend by your side to help you without pressure or judgment i'm billy coffin with sam houston memorial funeral home and our team is here to assist you in creating a celebration of life for your loved one we will guide and assist you during the most difficult of times when the need arises we are here and ready to help sam houston memorial funeral home your hometown experts in celebrating life this has been the Huntsville Hornet Basketball Pre-Game Show. Get ready, Hornet Nation. Tip-off is next. 
Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner in Huntsville. And the new year has brought new inventory. We're getting truckloads every day of new vehicles. You've got to come to Wiesner of Huntsville to see the inventory and the deal. We've got Chevy half-ton pickup trucks starting at only $43,185. And you can take advantage of 60 months at only 2.9% financing. Don't let people tell you they don't have vehicles. Don't let people tell you you have to pay over MSRP. And don't let people tell you you have to pay high interest. Here at Wiesner in Huntsville, we've got inventory, low prices, and low rates. Come to Wiesner of Huntsville and see how we do it. Or visit us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. The following is a KCM Sports presentation on the Hornet Nation Broadcast Network. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to feel the sting. It's time once again for Huntsville Hornet Basketball. Let's go courtside and join the voice of Huntsville Hornet Basketball, Luke Scott. And that was our, nan our na national anthem there. The greatest pregame hype-up song in all of history right there. Nothing gets fired up more than the, than the Spar Spangled Banner. I mean, did you, <clears throat> did you see Nick Sirianni the other night during the Super Bowl? I mean, just tears coming down his face because of the emotion that that brings out of you. And definitely going to be emotion tonight here for Huntsville, trying to get a big win to be able to advance to a play-in game on Friday night. Wherever that may be, we'll find out. Here, but they got to take care of business first here against Cape Park. Tonight, Huntsville in their all grays, green stripes on the sides with green numbers and letters with white outlining the numbers there. And also now in Kingwood Park here, all blacks, green on the sides with the green numbers and letters, white outlining both the letters and the number. So two teams, the same colorways, but only one victory can happen tonight. Huntsville, Kingwood Park, the last game here in the regular season as we're starting to interrupt our fix our starting lineups here one more time for the visiting Kingwood Park here we go Trent Burningham Divion Sanford uh, Juan Flores Jaden Henderson and Jaden Duhon I'm sorry and Brad Garcia and then for Huntsville it's the same five from start to finish here Kashawn Carrington Aiden Pearson Braden Roselle Chad Johnson and Demarcus Williams. We got a good one here coming up here in Paul Bowen. Glad for you to join us again. Luke Scott and Carlos Zimmerman here. And we're just, we're, we're fired up. We're ready to get going. We're fired up, ready to go. It's going to be an exciting night. Of course, this is our first of two games this evening on the Hornet Nation Broadcast oh, Network. Busy, busy, busy night. night. The Lady Hornets are up in Corsicana tonight taking on the Marshall Lady Mavs in the by district round of the 5A playoffs. Colin Neal and our good buddy Houston Hardcastle they have the call up there starting at 7.45 tonight, so pop on two screens, get a bucket of popcorn, however you want to do it tonight. Enjoy both of these games this evening. It's going to be a lot of fun, I can guarantee it. So excited, so blessed to be a part of a help out a program. And of course, we want to thank our sponsors here, Carlos. Before we get going, Bill Fick Ford, no bull Bill Fick Ford, no bull, just good deals. AB Squared Self Storage, your local go-to self storage facility, Send you some memorial funeral home because everyone deserves a place to be remembered. And, of course, the game sponsored here tonight, Wiesner of Huntsville, home of the bottom line. Ready to get going here as tip-off is just under 30 seconds away. And you can tell there was quite the energy in the JV game and, and freshman game. Freshman won, JV lost. First time that's happened this season. Oddly it, enough, yeah. Interesting enough. So it shows that the very near future is very bright for Huntsville. They got a couple freshmen on this squad I'm going to be seeing, hoping to see tonight and get some good action. But, Luke, here we go one more time here at Paul Bowen. Tezkai Johnson in instead of starting for Demarcus Williams. So it's Johnson and Henderson, and here's Kingwood Park. Just wins the tip. Now they get the ball to Juan Flores. Flores operating up here. Some Flores driving right, kicks it out here. 
Finds Garcia, and that one drains from the corner for a quick 3-0 lead here for Kingwood Park. Got to close out on those threes. That was one of our keys to the game tonight. Braden Rozell, his first shot off to the right, no good. Ooh. Stolen by Pearson underneath the basket. He got fouled, trying to go up with the ball. So he'll be, he'll be on the ground, though. So we'll stay with the Hornets. A foul charge to Sanford, his first. Wow. That lob of the... There you go, Hezekiah Johnson. We've seen that play a lot, get, getting the foul there on Jaden Henderson. And he'll be going for two at the line. That's a quick two fouls there for Kingwood Park. We're not even, we're barely 30 seconds into this one. 7.27 here left to go in the first quarter. Hezekiah Johnson with his first attempt at the free throw line. First one, no good. Off the back iron. See if we can go one and two here at the Samuelson Memorial Funeral Home. Free throw line. And the second of two is good. So a 1 3 lead now for Kingwood Park. And here are the Panthers right now. Here's Flores. Flores looking for somewhere to go. Finds Sanford in the corner. Sanford. Good D. Good, really good defense by Carrington, and that will be a five second violation there. Got to move the ball. Turnover. Nice defense there by Carrington. That long arms really hindered the play there. Here comes Huntsville now. Picked up the drill and now throws it out to Roselle. Now here's Carrington on the left wing. Now Pearson. Pearson takes a curry range three. Oh, 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 oh. Bingo. And a deep one there for the AB, first AB squared self-storage three here for the Hornets. I mean, give him time to spot up. He'll knock it down in your face. Look at that. And Pearson, his second steal, now throws it up to Carrington. Two on one, Carrington. Yeah. Oh, he picked up his dribbling. He wanted to pass it underneath. He had Roselle open yeah, underneath the basket, but it's a tough break right there. But hey, I love this energy so far for Huntsville. Now here comes Flores. Flores had a huge game against Huntsville last time out. A near double-double. That's how Stanford, Stanford now throws to Flores. Looking for Garcia. Keeps it himself. Now finds Garcia in the corner. Here's Stanford on the right wing. Offensive. We've got a, a violation there. Three-second violation on Kingwood Park. And here comes Hornets now off their second turnover of the night. Oh, that one thrown away there by Roselle. Trying to find Johnson. Now gets it off to Sanford, or Sanford here for the Panthers. Sanford, now to Garcia. Garcia, Garcia, he's going to walk with it. The third turnover here offensively for Kingwood Park. Huntsville getting some possessions here early. And they need to capitalize off of it. Yep. You only got a one point lead and you've already forced three turnovers, so get a shot to fall here. Here's Roselle, pulls up for the mid-range. That Ooh. one gets in, up and in. Six to three now, a three-point lead here with 5.45 left to go in the first quarter. Look at this here, Luke. They've switched it up now at the point. To Burningham. A quicker ball handler here for Kingwood Park. Finds Garcia, Garcia operating, finds, goes down. Low, that one fouled. That's gonna be Jaden Henderson going to the line. And that foul will be on Hezekiah Johnson there, down on the block. Okay, we're going to try to keep everyone updated on the girls' playoffs game. That one start, tips off, at, I believe, at 8 o'clock, 8.05-ish. So when that's up and going, we'll give you all an update as much as we can. But for right now, just right here in Paul Bowen, 6-4. First free throw up and good. Second one good as well, 5-27 left to go. A one-point lead, 6-5 for the Huntsville Hornets. Here's Chad now, Chad. Get the screen, goes right, high Ooh. floater. That one too strong. And will be, comes back to the Panthers. Here's Kingwood Park now, here's Burningham, Burningham. Going fast right, that one. Can't haul that one in as Davion Sanford not able to haul in the pass there from bringing a tough pass to really haul in. 
Hornets causing another turnover, but still only a one point lead. Here's Roselle, Roselle's three, that one. Can't get the roll, no good. And here comes Flores now, walking the ball up. Here's Sinanum. Burning him, now Garcia driving in. Kicks it out, here's Sanford for three. That one, off the heel, no good, too strong. And it comes up with Braden Roselle, now finds Pearson. Pearson, going strong, kicks it out. Roselle at the mid-range again, oh. that one can't roll in. Will be out there on the tip from Eskai Johnson. Couple substitutions now. Here's Brett Butler and Derek Hood checking in. That's Carrington and Roselle checking out. A couple more shooters here for Jay Olfan here. Here's Burningham walking this one up the court. Johnson on him. Burningham crossing over. Kicks out for three. Now back to Burningham from the corner. Now Sanford on the right wing. Sanford looking to go to Flores down low. Now to Garcia. Burningham on the wing. That one will be fouled. It'll be on Chad Johnson. Burningham's going to have two coming up at the line. 14 left to go. Six to five. Fun, fun energy already, Carlos. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of energy from both sides. Not a whole lot of offense. The Hornets have been getting up some good shots. Now we're tied up. Here's Juwan Giddens checking in for his first action of the night. Hezkai Johnson checking out right here. Giddens a very good defender, so we'll see what he can do on the defensive end next possession. He can shoot from the corner, too. Here's Pearson now on the right wing, bringing the ball up. Now finds Butler. Butler trying to go to Giddens. Can't. Finds Pearson. Pearson. Hounded on defense, wow. got, his, got his shot. Really nice touch there for Maiden Pearson getting two in the lane. Eight to seven, a one point lead now for Huntsville. Here's Kingwood Park now, here's Sanford. Tips it in to Garcia, that one fumble, that will be off of Pearson. Pearson's got a look on his face like, <clears throat> I don't know. Here's Conte checking in. For Chad Johnson, so it's Savion Conte, Aiden Pearson, Derek Hood, Brett Butler, and Jawan Giddens. Outlet pass, or an inbound pass, excuse me, goes to Sanford now. Way beyond the arc, Butler on him. Garcia now in the left wing. Goes out to Burningham, good defense there by Derek Hood. Here's Trent Burningham, now finds Flores. Flores, a pass first guy. Nice dish there to Garcia down low. That lay-in is good for two. And now Kingwood Park back on top by one, nine to eight. Back and forth we go. Here's Savion now. Pearson diving in. Good pass. Gets it out to Giddens, making the extra passes. Here's Butler's three. That one no good, too short. And we'll go back to Kingwood Park here. Really good ball movement there for the Hornets. Here's Burningham now, finds out to Flores, Flores. Now here's Garcia on the right wing. Now to Sanford, Sanford. Crossover, step back three, that one is good. Nice shot there from Davion Sanford. 12 to eight now. Hornets wanna go quick. Pearson thought about a three. Goes to the mid range, looks like he got fouled, no call. Now Conte, Conte kicks it out to Hood, Hood. Going in, he's got a nice little floater game. That one comes up short though. Kingwood Park will walk up now. You gotta, cle you gotta clean up here on defense because your shots aren't falling right now. That's it's Burningham, that's a travel, yep. Burningham took too much, too many steps with it. Here comes the line change here for Kingwood Park. Here's Brady Jones, Hollis Stevens, Gregory Davis. Jalen Duhon as well. Jaden Duhon. Duhon. And Brad Garcia will stay in. Here's Hood now. Drops it off to Butler. Butler will shoot the three. That one Ugh. way far out again. And the look on Coach Oliphant's face there is that. Why are we shooting that from Buzzy over here? Another beyond NBA range three. No good. That one's stolen, tipped, and it will go off. There of Jawan Giddens. 
Inbound pass was trying to get it to Stevens there for Kingwood Park. Giddens was on him. Double team here. Now they got it out here. Now here comes Kingwood Park. That's Duhon bringing the ball up. Duhon the sophomore. Gets in. That's a foul there on Derek Hood. Trying to get the ball away from Gregory Davis there on the drop pass. Third foul on the Hornets. Three to two on the team fouls. 141 here left to go. 12-8 lead here for Kingwood Park. Here's Duhon. Duhon. Giddens now really good defender, and that will be a backcourt violation. Good defense there from Juwan Giddens talking a little down the court now. That's the kind of presence he brings to the court. He's a quarterback on the football field, and he's kind of like that extra juice on defense here in the hoops. That's Caleb Franklin checking in there for Aiden Pearson now. There could. Wow. Gets that one back, bobbled that one for a bit. Now it passes out to Conte. Savion. Savion loses that one, and Kingwood Park's here on a break. It's Butler trying to get there, but Garcia lays it in before Butler can get there. 14-8, one minute and 10 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Here comes Conte. He'll be fouled there. That's Gregory Davis on the foul. I don't know what he's complaining about. He's got his hands all over him. Physical game here early in Paul Bowen. Nothing that you wouldn't expect here. It was Absolutely always going to be that way. That's what kind of Huntsville wants to make it. They kind of want to make it a rock fight. Here's Derek Hood. Checks it out here to Giddens. Giddens going up strong in the lay-in. That one Ooh, gets yeah. the roll. Nice finish there for Jawan Giddens. 14 to 10, a four-point lead now only for Kingwood Park. Duwan brings the ball up. Forward pass. That one's tipped out by Butler. Way to be there. 42 seconds here left to go on the, on the clock. If you're Huntsville, you got to find a way to be able to get some points and great defensive stops against the reserves, really. That one's here. stripped. we will find its way back to Davis now. Davis, Butler on the ball early. Here's Davis. Ooh, that, one, that one tipped as well. Try to save it there as Jawan Giddens, but it will stay with Kingwood Park. Great defense, I'm loving it. It's just, Huntsville's just not catching some breaks here if it's staying in play. The second unit for Huntsville, head coach Shale Fan talked about him in the pregame. Showing a lot of energy here defensively. Oh, they left him open. Elevator screen there, and the down guy, the screener, Hall Stevens, was wide open on the block there. No one checked him out. Here's Butler now, passes to Franklin. Franklin. Driving left, gets fouled on the ground. 14 seconds here, let's go in the first quarter. That one will be on Brady Jones. Law pass to Conte, Conte goes up strong. Can't get the roll. A little rebound back to Kingwood Park here. Eight seconds here, let's go in the first quarter. Don't foul. Duhon gets out to Garcia, that one tipped. Juwan Giddens forward, pass to Hood. Hood has one second. Lays it, and a not gets the roll there. A good look, but a good start to this really a fast quarter there. 16 to 10, lead for Keenwood Park. We'll be right back here. Port Nation Broadcast Network, this is KSAM Sports. Self Storage is your local go to self storage facility that can help give you the extra space you need, big or small. From non climate and climate controlled storage to parking spaces for your car, boat, trailer, and RV, they have it all. AB Squared Self Storage has 24 hour computerized gate access, around the clock security camera monitoring, no long term lease commitment, and convenient payment options. Give them a call today at 936 755 5000 or reserve your space online at www.ab2selfstorage.com. Welcome back here, Paul, Bowen, Jim, Luke Scott here alongside Carlos Zimmerman. A 16 to 10 game right now. Huntsville trailing by six. So we got to go in here to start up the second quarter. All the starters back in for both teams. Carrington, Chad Johnson, Hezekiah Johnson, Braden Roselle, and Aiden Pearson on the floor right oh. now. That one's tipped. It will save. stay 
with Huntsville. Good save, my play-by-play -play guy. Appreciate that. That was the hockey save. Throw the forearm there. Uh huh. Got to hand check it. Here's Pearson. Passes it out to Johnson. Johnson. Nice move. He's shifty with it. Now back to Pearson on the right wing. He's driving in. Kicks it out. Roselle alone in the corner. That one needs to go. Can't. Will be over the back there on his guy Johnson going up for it. A good look there from three for the senior. That's the second foul on the big guy, Johnson. Oh, hello. That one tipped, stolen, and that one forced oh. up. Roselle just forced that one up, went right to him there from Pearson. Be a now little here comes cute. Burningham. Burningham's lot pass down low. That one does finish there. Nice finish there for Jaden Henderson below the rim. Huntsville now down eight. Pearson trying to go quick. Oh, and a bad pass there, a little less. Just threw it away. I mean, the miscommunication there between Carrington yeah. and Johnson, too. A little Co bit of composure there, losing. Costly turnovers here for Huntsville, and it's allowing Kingwood Park to extend their lead. Here's Burningham now. Burningham driving right, kicks it out for three. That one will walk with it. That was... Davion Sanford again. He can really shoot it, but he can also really walk with it. You know what I'm saying? Here's Carrington now inbounding to Chad Johnson. Watch for the baseline runners here for Aiden Pearson, maybe. Now Carrington kicks it out. Roselle at the mid-range. That one feeds it down low. Nice pass there and a good finish there from Hezekiah Johnson. Kisses it off the glass. Back to a six-point deficit. Go get a stop. Sending the double team here is Huntsville now. And that one will be a third. No. no. That's Bowen there walking with it. Thought that was going to be the third foul there on Johnson. But instead, it will be a travel. Now it's Hezekiah Johnson's tying his shoe, his right shoe. Yes. So it's Carrington. Chad Johnson, Hezekiah Johnson, Aiden Pearson, and Braden Rosell here on the floor. 6.38 here left to go in the second quarter. 12 to 18, a six point lead now for Kingwood Park. Here's Pearson now on the dribble handoff. Hands it right back off to Johnson. Johnson operating. Feeds it to Braden Rosell. Rosell now it's to Carrington. Carrington goes down to Johnson. Johnson, that one tipped and will stay with Huntsville. Tipped there. Off of Jaden Henderson. Good call there from the ref. I like the ball movement. It's just got to be a bit quicker some of these passes. Huntsville also kind of bobbling the ball, too. Got to get him some stick em. Chad Johnson there. Another floater way high off the glass. That one no good. Here comes Trent Burningham and the Panthers now. That one now double teamed. Nearly a back Now court. finds, yeah, nearly was. Huntsville sending a lot of double teams here early, ah. trying to get some turnovers. Now finds Sanford in the corner. That one no good, too strong rebound. Aiden Pearson, and here come the Hornets. Pearson has a fast break, gonna take it himself. That one finished, no good. Will be a foul there on Trent Burning and Pearson. Will be going to the same Memorial free throw line for two. I just love this kid. He, he, he just, he, he puts so much passion into this ball game and- He's a hooper. He's a hooper. He, 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 he just balls out. He, play, he plays just with 110% intensity the entire time. Plays the right way. First one oh. can't get the roll. Here comes Giddens and now Caleb. I'm sorry, that's Keyshawn Alexander checking in now for his guy Johnson and Braden Roselle. Mm. Second free throw no good either, but Alexander will get the... Rebound, that jump shot oh. doesn't get the roll either. Had a good look at it, that one tipped. We'll go right back to Carrington off the bed. That one will be finished, and one! Kashawn Carrington going through contact, and now he'll get a chance at the three-point play here at the line. It's the miscommunication, or just miscues really for Kingwood Park on that inbound, or on the rebound, I should say, and turns into points at the other end. Love to see it. Carrington's free throw is good. He converts on the three-point cash there. Three-point lead now here for the Panthers. 
Huntsville's intensity is just... Oh, Giddens almost got that one just a little late. That one now, here comes Henderson. Henderson loses it, finds it out. Burning him thought about a three. Gives out to Flores. Now here's Sanford. He'll take the three. That one way off. And here comes Pearson now on the rebound. Trying to take coast to coast. Good pass. Finds the open man there. Oh. Johnson Johnson can't finish. Now the pass there fumbled. And it will go back. Oh, to King Wooden. That one smoked the layup. Oh Henderson gets another one. He'll be fouled at the line. And Giddens will take the foul on this communication between Pearson. Pearson thought it was going to be a backcourt there. But he never had possession. Would have been fine. I mean, just. It went straight to, to Jaden Henderson right there. Well, I mean, Henderson just didn't give up on the play. Nope. <clears throat> Stayed with it. And then the missed layup over here. Giddens was just out of place. Pearson was on the deck. So nothing Huntsville could have done. But at least they're trying to make him go earn him at the free throw line. First one, no good. Could be a, a little three-point swing there. Johnson had a good look at a layup here. An easy layup and just shorted it. Looked like my putter, if you know what I'm saying. That free throw good, 15 and 19 now, a four point lead for Kingwood Park. Oh, Cross court good. pass, here's Chad Johnson's three, that one mm. no good. Rebound and back comes Kingwood Park at the fast break, a three on one, that easy lay in will be a foul there on Giddens. That's a quick second for him. And really it's just Huntsville taking a quick shot, not getting anyone back in it. And Kingwood Park just darting forward and having three guys go right when that shot comes up. Have you noticed that when Huntsville is able to just move the ball around, that usually they come away with points? Yeah. Got to be just patient. Just be patient. Here's Butler and Conte. I really like how this second unit has been playing, though, with Butler and Conte on the wings with Pearson now. Alexander and Jawan Giddens. Two for two there at the free throw line there for Jaden Henderson. 4.45 yards to go. Hornets down by six. Pull up Jay. That one, mm. nice shot there for Aiden Pearson there right at the elbow. Let him shoot that all night. He's really comfortable in that mid-range. Good ball movement here, forcing the ball up. Cord. Flores will have a layup. That one, no good. Rebound, Pearson. Flores tracking back, going to try to take it. Pearson drops it off. Butler kicked it out here. Pearson's three. Mm. That one off to the right. Good feed down to Alexander. He'll go at the line. Good pass there from Brett Butler. Finding Alexander to shoot two at the line here at the same Houston Memorial free throw line. Got to knock these down now if you're Alexander. You got an opportunity to swing this back in the, your end of momentum with four minutes left to go in the second. Got to knock them down. Get in there. Oh. First one, no good. That line drive, free throw. That's Pearson checking out here for Derek Hood. Second free throw, no good either. Fighting for a rebound. Duhon gets it out here to Brad Garcia. Now Burningham brings the ball up. 0 for 2 there at the free throw line. That will make every other free throw a 1 and 1 opportunity now for Huntsville. Pass here, Henderson. Henderson. Taking it inside, split the defender. That wow. one can't get a roll. Tipped out of bounds. We'll go back to the Hornets. A, a wide open look there for Jaden Henderson. Just rimmed in and out. Just, this, this, you know, you, you, talk about, you talk about you know soft rims and everything. Huntsville's got some hard ones here. And a lot of shots tonight on both ends have gone just in and out of the hoop. Here's Butler now. Dribble handoffs all the way around. Here's Hood, Hood just out to Conte now. Conte going left. Pulls up for the mid-range, tough mid-range. Shot there, no good. Rebound back, Brad Garcia. Here's, and here's Kingwood Park. Here's Burning him now, running, racing up the court. Once we'll see a lot of double teams. That one, a wide open man here. Good extra pass there. That one will be a charge taken there by Jawan Giddens. Great play there for Jawan. Might have put a little Hollywood on that one, but you know, you take it. Got the feet set. That's all that mattered. And that could have been his third if they, was, if they would have called the block there. And that would have been trouble. A lot of trouble, but instead, another offensive turnover here for the Panthers. Here's Conte. Oh, now Conte Lord. forces that one, tipped, and back come Henderson. Henderson will go to the line. That will be a foul there 
on Conte. Just a, a bad mistake there for Savion. Got to be smarter with the ball. You can't make costly turnovers. And don't force anything, you know. I mean, tunnel vision's a very real thing in this sport. And sometimes some players just lock in on something and they're not going to look at anything else. They got blinders on. So got to be smarter with it. But at least you're trying to make them earn it here at the stripe. First one, too short off the front rim. Here's Johnson and Pearson now checking out for Hood and Conte. Here's Shane Henderson. I believe this is his fifth or fifth trip there at the free throw line. And he's missed a few. He's missed a few, but he's also made a few. And that's really the reason why Kingwood Park is winning this game by four right now with three and six seconds left to go here in the first half. Well, it's because they haven't been able to get anything offensively. This Hornet defense has been very good. Just the fouls have been hurting them. That was the seventh team foul there on the Hornets. Both teams in the bonus. Here comes Pearson now. Pearson. Goes to Butler. Butler loses that one. Tipped by Garcia. Will stay with the Hornets. Showing that ball a little too much. Brad Garcia got his hands on it. Luckily for Huntsville, it sticks with him here. Again, be smart. Don't force anything. Discipline. Here's Johnson now. Oh, Johnson goodness. stumbles with it, kicks it out now to Pearson. Pearson, they're going to reset the play here. And look, no one moving now for Huntsville. Johnson trying to take his defender there off. That one off to Alexander's knee. Pearson now. Pearson, a tough possession here for Huntsville. Giddens thought about taking a three. Going to go in. Can't finish there on the layup. Here comes Kingwood Park forward. Whole court pass. That one blocked. Oh, beautiful. By Alexander Garcia. Thought he got fouled. A clean, though, block there for Keyshawn Alexander. Great to save the possession there. As Franklin checks in for Alexander. Now going to be smart on this inbound. Here's Burningham. Finds in the hole. Stevens. Hollis Stevens can't get that one to finish. Gets his own rebound. Now goes again. Can't make it. Giddens on the rebound now. Here's Johnson. Johnson on the right wing. Johnson. Clear now. Here's Caleb Franklin now taking his man off the dribble. Franklin, he can really. Just good, can't finish there. It's a good drive. Just can't finish it. Whoop. That one's still a bad pass there for Kingwood Park. Here's Johnson. Chad Johnson. Oh, Euro. Oh, 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 Sick man. move. Can't finish again. That gets his lay in. No. Can't finish that one either off his own board. Kingwood Park now, both teams looking gassed out there. Giddens takes that one, and that's going to be a charge. Nope, they call the blocking. Oh. That's his third. That time he didn't quite have his feet set there. It was that left foot. That left foot. It drug. It drug. If it doesn't drag, that's going the other way. Yeah, both. You're, you make a good point, Luke. Both of these teams are just a bit sloppy right now on both offensive sides. I don't rightfully know if it's great defense. But here's the thing for Huntsville. Well, it looks to be you, a lot of a lot of fatigue. Yeah, and, and and that's why shots aren't falling over here because they're just throwing everything it up there. short and everything short. Yep. So they're tired. I mean, look at it. We might get into halftime before Colin and Houston get on the air up in Corsicana. This is how fast this game's going. Here's the second free throw here. That one is good as well. 17-24 now. Huntsville down seven. Huntsville needs a bucket. Here's Pearson. Pearson going all the way. Gets that one to lay in. Aiden Pearson's been filling up the stat sheet early in this one. Now King Park has got to find somewhere to inbound. Now it's to Duhon. All four core pass here to Garcia. Garcia oh! blocked oh, 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 oh. by Pearson going way up. Garcia down on one end. They got to kill Couple this players play. on the ground on the They got to blow this deck. play dead. Oh my goodness. Look at the carnage. Pearson got way up there. Brad Garcia is on the floor. Minute nine seconds left to go here in the first half, 1924. We'll take it to break here for a moment. We'll step aside here for a little bit from the Horn Nation Broadcast Network. This is KSAM Sports.
Hey, y'all, this is Josh Ward. When I'm not playing country music, I'm out driving my Ford F-350. I got from Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville, Texas. Your no bull headquarters. Whether I'm headed to the next show or down the road with the kids rodeoing, I know I can always count on no bull Bill to take care of us, just like he's always done. Bill Fick Ford, I-45 South in Huntsville, Texas. Check them out at BillFickFord.com. We'll see you on down the road. So Welcome back as Brad Garcia makes his way off the court with a little bit of help. It will be Huntsville ball coming out of this quick break. 19-24, five-point deficit for Huntsville. Aiden Pearson with a big block there on a fast break. Pearson been doing it offensively and defensively tonight. Really the only guy here on the court, it feels like, that has so much more energy than everyone else. I mean, I mean, the, that's the work he puts in off the court as well, just being able to stay in shape and continuing to play well, just... He's really the one that's kept Huntsville in this ball game with the shot creation that he's got, too. Must I say, also has the best shoes on the court now that I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah. 100%. Are those hyper dunks? I can't tell from here. They're Nikes, obviously. Kid's got flair. You yeah, love it. he does. Anyways, one, one minute here, five seconds left to go. Here's it bringing the ball up. Now Carrington. Carrington. Gets to Hood. Hood, an illegal screen there will be called there on Pearson. Moving screen. So I think they called a double dribble. Oh, was the double dribble? On Hood. Now I think they could have gotten either one there, to be honest. Here comes Kingwood Park now. Flores. Flores loses the ball there. Now he double dribbled it. Wow. A carry. My goodness. The joys of high school basketball, yo. Yep. Here's Caleb Franklin now, jab stepping his way all the way to the lane. That one, air ball, short, rebound, wow. tipped all the way. Carrington, Car uh, not Hood, loses it, goes right to Stevens here. Good effort made there, just goes right back to Kingwood Park now. Here's Davis bringing the ball up. Carrington on him. Flores now getting hounded on the double team. Now Duwan getting doubled. Oh. Goes down to Stevens. Stevens misses that layup, blows it. And back come the Hornets. Here comes Franklin. Be smart with it. My goodness. Pearson thought about taking the long range. Will step inside. Kicks it out now. Hood's three. No good. Short rebound. Johnson. Johnson's going up strong. Gets his own rebound, finish, oh! can't finish. Oh my goodness. And that will end things here in the first half. Just There's a lid on that hood, oh my on, that, goodness. on that bucket. 19-24, <laughs> five point deficit here for the Hornets. We'll step aside for the Bill Fick Ford halftime shortly from the Hornets Nation Broadcast Network. This is KSAM Sports.
from the Hornet Nation Broadcast Network. Powered by KCM Sports, this is the Hornets Halftime Show, presented by Bill Fick Ford. For stats and analysis of the first half, let's return courtside and once again meet up with Luke Scott. Welcome back here, 24 to 19, a five point lead here for Kingwood Park. Luke Scott here alongside Carlos Zimmerman and Carlos. An up and down affair. Missed baskets left and right for both teams. What's happening? I, I, just, I don't know. If, I, I said a minute ago that there was like a lid on that hoop and like just nothing would fall in. Hezekiah Johnson's last shot there before the buzzer was like halfway down point the blank. rack. It was point blank and it just it rolled and hit every single square inch of that rim. And rimmed out. And, and I've never seen anything like it. I, I haven't either. I mean, this is a completely different ball game than what we saw when you and I and Christian were down in Kingwood. Like, a lot more offense in that ballgame tonight. It's been good defense for some of these teams, but otherwise it's just been really poor offense. A lot of missed free throws as well for Huntsville. Hezkai Johnson went one for two, and Pearson's made a couple. Carrington made one, but a fair amount have been missed here tonight, and really for both Huntsville and Kingwood Park, just – Maybe sure, maybe good defense, but both these teams just struggling from point blank range. I mean, Hollis Stevens has missed three layups, two missed layups there at the end. I mean, I've, I've never seen it. I'm going to thank a couple of our sponsors here, Carlos, real quick for me. All right, yeah, Bill Fick Ford, no bull, just a good deal sponsor here of the Bill Fick Ford halftime report, as well as our great friends at AB Squared Self Storage, your local go to self storage facility, as well as Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, because everyone deserves to be remembered, and Wiesner of Huntsville, home of the bottom line. Big game here tonight for both teams. Okay. Kingwood Park is locked in at the three seed here yes. for the playoffs here coming up next week. Huntsville right now five at the five spot in the district. Top four get in. Porter's at four right now. Of course, Huntsville and Porter split one and one, and they're going up against Lufkin tonight in Porter. Now, assuming Lufkin wins that game, no disrespect to Porter or anything, but Lufkin's that good. Assuming Lufkin wins, if Huntsville can win tonight, a playoff berth, or excuse me, a play-in berth to get to a playoff berth. Yes. Here, that'd be on Friday there, and most likely a neutral neutral spot I don't know yet we'll see when that time comes all its focus here is on the second half Carlos your keys to the second half make shots like I mean you've missed about four or five layups just directly under the basket and I know part of yeah. that could be attributed to fatigue out there because man that first half went by pretty quick because I mean there were a good chunk of fouls but down the stretch of that second quarter there weren't many called because I mean I mean I mean, you think about it, that emphatic block that Aiden Pearson had, that's really the play of the half right now for Huntsville. Aiden Pearson's the sole reason that Huntsville's still in this game, and that brings me to the next key. Keep feeding him the ball. He's feeling it tonight. He's putting up quality shots. He shot, a, like you said, a Steph Curry range three oh from the goodness. left wing. And if you keep feeding him the ball, he's going to be in good shape as well. And then continue to rebound the ball well because, yeah, you, you've done a pretty decent job rebounding the ball. That was one of my keys at the top of the broadcast. So if Huntsville does that, they'll be able to work their way back. This game's not over by any stretch here for the Hornets. And, you know, we don't keep stats here in high school ball, on, you know, right now. Obviously, Carlos, of the 19 points, Pearson. He's got to have like 14 of them. I'm thinking, I was thinking, I was about to say 15 points. I mean, Giddens has a bucket. And then Giddens has a bucket, and Hezekiah Johnson went one for two at the line. So did Carrington. And Carrington went one for two at the line. I think Pearson's got the rest. That's it's crazy to think about, but, you know, that's the kind of player he is. And, Luke, he's only a sophomore. He, he can only go up from here, which is incredible to see. Two minutes, 45 seconds left to go. Huntsville down five. Still anyone's ball game is now here comes Kingwood Park entering back on the court. We'll step aside here. Second, second half underway next.
Hey y'all, this is Josh Ward. When I'm not playing country music, I'm out driving my Ford F-350. I got from Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville, Texas. Your no bull headquarters. Whether I'm headed to the next show or down the road with the kids rodeoing, I know I can always count on no bull Bill to take care of us, just like he's always done. Bill Fick Ford, I-45 South in Huntsville, Texas. Check them out at BillFickFord.com. We'll see you on down the road. It's all about loving. This has been the Hornets Halftime Show, presented by Bill Fick Ford. Get ready, Hornet Nation. Second half tip-off is just moments away. As we enter a season of celebrations of spending time with our family and friends, the best celebrations are usually planned. Someone has to put some thought into making the event the best it can be. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Huntsville and Walker County's premier funeral home, Sam Houston Memorial. Whatever the celebration, it's always best to be prepared. We're here to help you plan your life celebration without burdening your family with tough decisions. A gift from you to them. Allow our family to serve yours. Sam Houston Memorial. Memorial Funeral Home. Welcome back here. Just under 30 seconds here left to go. Tell second half is underway. A five-point lead right now for Kingwood Park. 24 to 19 here in Paul Bowen Gym. That was the Bill Fick Ford halftime report here. Second half coming up next. We do have information here. Thanks to the Lufkin Panther Sports Facebook page. Lufkin is up over Porter 43 to 20 at the end of the third. That game is moving very quickly and Lufkin is up 23. So right now, looking good. We just got to take care of business here right now. Yeah, absolutely you got to. And then a quick update from Corsicana. Also want to thank Christian Cortez absolutely. helping us out with that. Got to give him, this, got to give him the, the source there some credit. Our de facto SID over here off to our right. An update from Corsicana as well. Huntsville, an early lead against Marshall. First quarter still underway up there in Corsicana. Brad Garcia is back on the court. Starters for both teams all in. Good sign there for Kingwood Park. Glad he is okay. Second half here. We're just waiting on some clerical issues here at the scorer's table. And we're off here. Here's Sanford inbounding the ball. Huntsville needing here a win to get to a play-in game here against Porter. Now here's King of Park moving the ball well. Flores on the right side. Finds Garcia now. Stanford now out. Goes down to Henderson. That one blocked there by Carrington coming from the weak side. Here comes Huntsville now. Pearson. Pearson wanting to go quick. Aiden Pearson dumps it off, tipped off a Panther there. It will stay with Gray. It will stay with Huntsville. Keep feeding him the ball. I know that was a little miscue from him there. Just keep feeding it to him. He'll knock him down. Carrington trying to inbound the ball. Gets to Johnson now. Hezekiah Johnson kicks it out. Brayden Roselle's three on line. Short will be off a Panther there on the rebound. That's Flores kicking it out of bounds. Here come, and it will stay now. With the Hornets, here's Carrington again inbounding the ball. You're getting opportunities, you gotta capitalize. Roselle dumps it off to Carrington down low. Carrington can't finish, tipped. We'll go back oh to Carrington, my oh Lord. my goodness. Three missed, easy buckets there for the Hornets. Just get down to the ground, set your feet, make it a quality shot, and don't need to be fancy with it. There's a foul. Takes a foul there on the other end, that's Carrington. Just use the backboard, use yeah. the backboard. That's what it's there for. Here's Sanford now inbounding the ball for Kingwood Park. Trying to go to Flores, can't, goes down to Jaden Henderson. Now here's Burningham on the right side. Kicks out, Sanford's three. That one, rainbow three, no good. Rebound Burningham. Finds the open Sanford down low on the cut for an easy lay in. First buckets here of the second half. Here's Pearson now. You gotta Pearson. answer, you gotta answer now. Carrington, now here's Johnson, all to beyond the arc. Here's Pearson now on the screen for three. That one, no good, rebound will stay with the Hornets. Carrington lays there that is. one in, and finally, first laying in forever, it feels like, for Huntsville there. Now back down to a five point lead. They needed Garcia that. Garcia got him inbound the ball here. He does get it to Henderson. 
Here's Garcia now on the back pass. Burning him all the way forward. It will be a travel there on Trent Burningham. He walked with it, the senior guard, and it will turn the ball back over to the Hornets. Here's Aiden Pearson now. Pearson drops things off. Roselle, now Johnson. Johnson gets that one taken away from him. Flores gets it, and here comes Burningham and the Panthers. Flores kicks it out. Sanford wide open for three. That one way short. He's been off tonight as well. Pearson got it. Got to pick up his dribble. To Chad Johnson now. Johnson. It's to Pearson. Pearson. Jab steps. Knifing his way through. That one stripped. Taken from. Here's Flores. Trying to find the pass there, but an awful pass there from Flores to oh. Burningham. This has just been. It's. What would Jim Ross say, a slobber knocker? Yes. Kind of one of those. Just back and forth, back and forth. And Huntsville's couldn't happen on a better night for the Hornets, but they have not been themselves either. Both teams needs to execute right here. Here's Pearson now. Johnson thought about a three. He'll take the three. That one, oh. no good. That one tip. Pearson <laughs> working his butt off on the defensive end, trying to get a steal. Wasn't the worst look in the world there by uh, Chad Johnson. Oh, almost a backward violation. Here's Burningham now, Burningham. To Sanford, Sanford. That oh. one tipped by Hezekiah Johnson. Johnson can't come up with it. Will stay. Hit our uh, crowd mic right there. We'll stay here with Kingwood Park right in front of us. Good look at that. Great hustle there by Johnson, though. Sticking with it, just couldn't quite yeah, corral never, it. Never could get two hands on that one. Ball gets to Flores. Flores makes Harrington jump. A wide open Garcia now. Garcia drives baseline. Kicks it out. Good ball movement here. Henderson now down low. That one tips. He loses it out of bounds. Good weak side pressure there from Braden Roselle as Giddens will check in. Reskaya Johnson right now. And Giddens has got to be careful here on both ends. He's got three fouls. He's only got two more to give. No DeMarcus Williams yet. Yeah, we haven't seen him once. Johnson's three, that one short, falls. Back to Burningham on the rebound. Here's the Panthers. Garcia not dribbling with it. Now goes all the way to the rack. Can't finish, so another missed layup. Here comes Carrington. Carrington finds Pearson. Pearson sets his feet. That one no good. Rebound. Oh. Will be a push there on Chad Johnson. Four minutes, 16 seconds left to go, 21-26. Good effort by the freshman Johnson, just a little too much contact. Here's burning him now. Sanford advancing the ball. Throws it back out to Flores. Flores driving all the way, he'll be fouled. And hacked, uh, will be on the ground, so no free throws coming. That will be on Chad Johnson. Now here comes Caleb Franklin at the scores table. He's checking in. And it will be for Chad Johnson. So it's Franklin, Roselle, Pearson, Giddens, and Carrington. Here's Garcia now. Finds Sanford on the wing. Sanford now goes to Garcia. Garcia. Driving baseline, kicks it out. Henderson, Henderson lays that one in. And he goes back to seven now, 28-21. Got to get another bucket. Oh, Pearson, that one stripped. Gets it back, though. Franklin takes a three. That one way short. I think that got blocked a little bit. Garcia now advancing the ball. Here comes Flores. Flores kicks it out. Brad Garcia, he thought about taking the three, won't. Got to be a travel right there. Henderson can't lay that one in. Tipped between a couple players. Gets it to Roselle now. Now Carrington's on the break. Goes to Pearson. Pearson going to the rack. He'll get fouled. He'll be going up for two at the line. Not happy Kingwood Park fan over there. And if you're Aiden Pearson now, that's the first foul committed by Kingwood Park in this second half. Got to knock these down because you got to find a way to keep it on the back end of the single-digit leads, five or less, to try and stay in this game. 
Mm. Oh, another missed free throw there, Pearson. A little long on that one. Here comes Demarcus Williams. Fresh legs here coming in for head coach Jay Oliphant. Brett Butler also at the scorer's table. Oh, yeah, he's fixing to check in for Aiden Pearson. That one swishes home. Good free throw for one of two at the Samuels Memorial free throw line. And Butler checks in here for Pearson. Other side, Gregory Davis and Hollis Stevens there now onto the floor here for the Panthers. Six point affair, not out of this by any stretch and a lot of ball still to be played. Here's King with Park now advancing the ball to Garcia. Garcia. They got numbers. Full court pass, that one no good short. That's Stevens holding Giddens right there. Stevens has not had a great game here for Kingwood Park. Multiple missed layups, as is everyone really tonight, and taking a couple fouls. Now here's Hood just checking in as well. Franklin kicks it out, can't on the dribble handoff. We'll go back here to Kingwood Park. Now here's Juan Flores. Flores kicks it over to Stevens. That one's short over the back there on Giddens. And good defense there from Jawan Giddens and going up strong for that rebound, drawing another foul. That's a quick pair for Hollis Stevens. It's his second or third yeah, foul either, of the night. Either way, he's in trouble. Here's Hood, need a basket right here for Huntsville. Here's Butler. Butler's a guy that can really fill it in. Will be out there, tipped, and Hollis Stevens going to the deck trying to get it. Here in comes Brady Jones here for Davion Sanford. So Flores and Garcia, the only remaining starters in on the floor currently for both teams. Here's Butler's three. That one looks good <laughs> and switches it home for Davy Square. Self storage three. A pretty shot there oh, from Bet Butler. De definition of catch and shoot three. Mm -hmm. And that That's one out right. of bounds and it'll go back to Huntsville. Got a chance to swing gotta, it here. I got to stand up oh, right yeah. here, Carlos. Absolutely. Got to get a way to get this crowd back into it. Here's Derek Hood now. Kicks it out to Marcus. Now goes out to Butler. Butler rolling right with it. Kicks it out. Giddens. Giddens oh. taking the three. That one no good. Rebound. We'll go back to Kingwood Park there. Giddens steals it or tips it. Now here's Hood that gets it. And it'll be off. Uh, Flores and will stay with the Hornets. A lot of effort there from both teams there. And Kingwood Park makes an adjustment here, bringing burning him back into the ball game here as one of their more better ball handlers. As I don't think uh, Kingwood Park had the right personnel out there. Here's Franklin gets it out the hood now. Hood gonna take Flores off the dribble. That one forces it up. Uh, oh, they call, call that travel. travel? Oh. Man, it looked like he got bumped there. That one inbounds to Owen to. too. Finds gets it to Duhon. Now Kingwood Park's got to advance the ball. Now burning him. Now they got a fast break here. Duhon going up. Oh, we'll come on. They're going to get Butler on that one. I don't know so about two that. Two at the free throw line. No, I think they, he got him with the body there. And I, I think this is both teams. It's like. Once every couple possessions, as we do have results here, Lufkin boys, they do win over Porter tonight, 54-25. They'll finish a perfect 10-0. 33-3, Lufkin, their team to watch out here in Region 2, or, yeah, Region 2, out of District 16. That free throw is good. Lead back up to six now. Five. Five, 30, 25. Ooh, quick math there. Oh, gosh. Pearson loses it, gets it back, finds Franklin. Franklin Ooh. stumbles with it. That one tipped. Fast break there, lay in, no good again. Do it'll be off Duon. We'll stay. Oh my goodness. Jeez, Gregory please. Davis. Gregory Davis is wide open, and this this rim on this right side is giving both teams. It's been a nightmare. It's gonna cause a heart attack over here, man. My goodness. Here's Pearson now. Pearson taking his man off the dribble. Gets it out to Butler. Butler. Kicks it to Pearson. Pearson fake the three. Pump fake. Nice move there. That one no good. Can't get the roll. They're going to call a foul on the box out, or are they going to call this on DeMarcus? 
you call that on DeMarcus, I think. Yeah, I didn't see the number. I think it's, I think it will be on DeMarcus there, 21. This press for Huntsville has been rather suffocating. Baseball pass. No free safety there for Huntsville. Marks Williams does get it back, and that will be a free lay in there for Flores. He doesn't miss that one. That's the issue with running no one up around the free throw, or I'm sorry, around the half court line. You can allow that full court pass. Get in, thought about a three. He's driving in. This is a down to DeMarcus. Marcus goes strong for the lay in for two. 27 32, 54 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Don't can foul. Get, get one more basket here. That one tipped. Foul, no. And a free lay in there for Duan. Now the King of Parks fixing a break, finally breaking that press here in the third quarter. If I'm Huntsville, I'm trying to hold this ball to the last possession. Pearson getting hounded on defense. Pearson. Schumann now kicks out, Giddens takes the three. That one, no good. Rebound, Duhon, 20 seconds here left to go. Now Flora is gonna walk this ball up with 17 left to go. From Huntsville, you make a stop defensively, you've got some momentum. Oh, never mind, you don't have to. <laughs> and Flores makes a, a pass nearly to the, the stands up here in Ball Bowen. 27-34 right. with 10 seconds left to go. They are 0 for 2 on buzzer beaters here in this ball game. And now they blow the whistles here as Giddens is still trying to get off the court. But and now they lost a point eight, one point eight. So let's see what happens. Here's Pearson now, six seconds left to go. Pearson, that one dribbled off his own foot. Just trying to do too much. Three seconds here left to go in the third quarter, a seven point lead for Kingwood Park. Not a whole lot of time to get up a shot. I mean, might as well let him. Yeah, one second here left to go. Duan lets that one go. Ooh. Just off the front iron, looked good. While it was in the air, a seven point lead here going into the fourth quarter for Kingwood Park. Horn and Toops will be back here for the final time in regular season play from Port Nation Broadcast Network. This is KCM Sports. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Weezer in Huntsville. And the new year has brought new inventory. We're getting truckloads every day of new vehicles. You've got to come to Weezer of Huntsville to see the inventory and the deal. We've got Chevy half-ton pickup trucks starting at only $43,185. And you can take advantage of 60 months at only 2.9% financing. Don't let people tell you they don't have vehicles. Don't let people tell you have to pay over MFRP. And don't let people tell you you have to pay high interest. Here at Weezer in Huntsville, we've got inventory, low prices, and low rates. Come to Weezer of Huntsville and see how we do it. Or visit us online at WeasnerHuntsville.com. I want to thank a few of our sponsors here as we welcome you back here. Courtside of Paul Bowen, AB Squared Self Storage, your local go to self storage facility, and Samuel Small Funeral Home because everyone deserves a place to be remembered. And also, Carlos, who else? Bill Fick Ford. Noble. Oh. Just good deals. Just good deals there at Bill Fick Ford. Here All we go. Right. Back here, Kashawn Carrington. Pearson, Roselle, Butler, and Hezekiah Johnson out there right now. I'm Huntsville, you need a quick bucket and you need it fast. Butler now gets Roselle. Roselle. Oh, wow. Finds Pearson out of nowhere. That one too long. Rebound. Offensively that misses that one. Johnson does. Will stay with Carrington on their offensive rebound. Carrington kicks it out. Butler takes the three. Never was able to set his feet there because he was stepped out of bounds. Tough pass to haul in there. 7.37 here left to go. And time's not starting to be an issue, but it is on the mind now. Here comes Flores. Flores oh, no. all the way back in a wide open lay in there for Sanford. That's the biggest lead of the night for K Park. A nine point lead, Huntsville. Need some threes, need some easy baskets here. Oh, a double dribble there on Butler. Johnson will check back in here for Braden Roselle. 7-11 here to go. A nine-point lead, 36 to 27 here for the Panthers. He is burning him now. Got to stay Finds back. Henderson. Got to stay back. 
And that's been the issue. Brad Garcia forces that one up way off. Backside rebound here to Sean Carrington. Aiden Pearson not even, didn't even know that ball was going to him. Ooh. Now that one blocked there by Johnson. Spiked it right off the glass. And Flores will take it out. Burningham's three sets his feet. That one short, way short. Airballed it. Rebound out to Henderson. Henderson gets the layup. No good. Rebound. That'll be two at the line there for Henderson. A big re block there for Hezekiah Johnson, but a lot of ball watching. Yeah, got to box out. And, you know, it's, it's a young team. A lot of inexperience out there. I mean, we've talked about it this year. I mean, moving from eighth grade ball to, uh, to varsity, it's a heck of a jump. Adversity builds character, that's what they say. And if I'm Huntsville, yeah, there's 6.38 left to go. You still got time. You just got to knock down some quality shots, and you can work your way back into this. One for two there at the line there for Jaden Henderson. A 10-point lead, 37-27 Huntsville. 6.38 left to go. In the final regular season game of the year. Backdoor cut there, kickball. We'll stay with the Hornets. Trying to find Pearson there. They really are force-feeding Pearson now. Yeah. And the, the thing is, for him, he, he's just starting to get tired out there. So maybe try to facilitate it more to Brett Butler. Maybe even use Pearson as a decoy a little bit. Maybe. Here's Johnson. Johnson takes the mid-range. That one too strong. No good rebound tipped. We'll go right back on the outlet pass to Kingwood Park. And here's Flores. Has the lay-in. That oh. one short. Good rebound there. Gets it out to Conte. Here's Conte now. Savion. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on. Just dragging the feet here. Both of us slamming the door, slamming the table. Coach Oliphant. A look of disgust. 10 minutes, or I'm sorry, six minutes left to go. And here is the lead. Henderson down low. That one jumbled between a couple players. Garcia, wide open three. That one no good. Rebound, Aiden Pearson. Here comes Pearson now, burning him on him. Pearson oh. loses it, gets it out to Chad Johnson. Oh my goodness. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy play for both teams. Johnson takes a three. Oh. That one no good. Rebound in both teams. Huntsville especially just gassed right now. There's just no stoppage of play. If I'm Huntsville, maybe try to take it, burn one of your timeouts, because now Cape Park is going to start chewing up clock. 16 fouls on Huntsville as well, so Cape Park is going to be going to the free throw line for the rest of the night. Just burning him on the save. Nice save there for Flores. Burning him, taking his man off the dribble. Kicks it out, Garcia's three. That one is good, and there is the timeout. It'll be a full timeout. We'll step aside here real quick. A 13-point lead here now for Kingwood Park. AB Squared Self Storage is your local go-to self-storage facility that can help give you the extra space you need, big or small. From non-climate and climate-controlled storage to parking spaces for your car, boat, trailer, and RV, they have it all. AB Squared Self Storage has 24-hour computerized gate access, around-the-clock security camera monitoring, no long-term lease commitment, and convenient payment options. Give them a call today at 936-755-5000 or reserve your space online at www.ab2selfstorage.com. Welcome back here, Paul Bowen, Jim. A 40-27, a 13-point lead for Kingwood Park. Huntsville time starting to be a part of the issue now. And you know, Luke, it's not because they just, they just kind of let it slip away here on some offensive possessions about a four-point swing for K Park on broken press, and Huntsville just suddenly just cannot find the bottom of the hoop. They were in this. Still a lot of time, not a whole lot, 5.06. The amount of blown layups here in this game has been tremendous on both sides. That's the thing. That's the thing. Here's Chad Johnson walking the ball to court. Five minutes here left to go. Conte takes the man off the dribble, picks up the dribble at the block. Call for the five second. Just now it can't go anywhere. And a turnover there for Huntsville. Here's Garcia now inbounding the ball. He can run the baseline. It's out to Burningham. Burningham kind of loses it. 
They're gonna have to get the ball up the court here. Here's Flores, Flores gets it to Garcia right before time expired there. And Sanford trying to feed it down to Henderson off the shoe there of Johnson. Four forty here left to go, twenty seven forty ball game. There's Flores inbounding the ball there to Sanford. Butler on him. Sanford on the right wing, kicks it out to Garcia. Garcia runs baseline, feeds it down low. And there will be a travel violation there on Henderson, a turnover. Hornets will take care of the ball now. They literally need to take care of it here. Get a quality shot. You need a quality shot. That's not going to do it. Conte turns that one over to Garcia now. Here's Flores. Finds Garcia from the double team. Garcia now goes back to Juan Flores. Sending the double team now. Huntsville is. That one fired out. It will be Hornets ball. Last touch by Flores. Huntsville's generating turnovers here on. But they're committing Parker, him at the, but they can't they can't score a basket. They're not committing them at the other, and they're committing turnovers on the other end too. So they've done a good job. I'd say they've done a great job defensively against Kingwood Park. The offense is just what hurt them tonight. Or lack thereof. Here's Pearson. Pearson trying to create his own shot off the screen. Dumps it down to Johnson. Johnson can't finish the layup. Oh my goodness. Has guy Johnson there finally uses the glass. 11 point lead now. 40 to 29 off the two there from Hezekiah Johnson. There's Burningham. Hounded on defense by Chad. Forwards the ball here for Henderson. Henderson's reverse lane is good on the backdoor cut. Pearson might just go to work here. Here's Johnson. Johnson. Makes a man miss. Nice. Really tough play with a little bit of English there off the glass. 11 point lead now. Here are three minutes to go as Kingwood Park is now breaking that press. Sets the feet though. Blocking. Too far into the basket. So there will be two free throws here coming up for Flores. Three minutes on the dot left to go in this one. 42 31 here. For Kingwood Park. We're going to try to get a check in score here with the girls' game this evening. Carlos, what you got? The first well, one is Miss. Huntsville leading 27 19. They are in the second quarter, so it's still a tight ball game there, but Huntsville has had the advantage the entire way. Colin Neal on the call there. That one's in uh, Corsicana, right? Corsicana, just south of DFW. Home of the Texas Bigfoot Association, Corsicana. Yes. 43-31, 12-point lead off those two made free throws. I'm sorry, one made free throw. That corner spot, no good. Rebound, a push there on Henderson. Demarcus Williams was there on the back door rebound. Or backside rebound, I must say. Butler will inbound. Butler gets it down. Now here's Brett Butler. Butler takes a tough two. Rebound to Henderson. Oh, turned right back over to Huntsville, and that one turned over. No, kept alive. Alexander, Alexander gets fouled going up. He'll have two at the line. 31-43, 2.35 left. See, again, Huntsville's just generating great stuff on the defensive side on these uh, broken down plays for Kingwood Park when they get the rebound. And it's on the floor because uh, they were uh, Alexander was not in the path of shooting. Here's Johnson now driving left, kicks it out. Alexander's three is good. A much needed basket there. Lead down to nine. This inbound to Garcia. Garcia's got to get it five out. And it will be a five second. Hornets will get the ball right back under their basket. And lucky for them because Burningham had a clear path to the lane. So a great job there by the Hornets. Now the, the look has to, there has to be a free safety of some sort here beyond half court because that free, free full court pass. Will work every time as there will be a full timeout here as we'll step aside 
460 seconds here. Nine point lead for Kingwood Park. Two minutes left to go. Hello, I'm Greg Smith and I'm proud to be the owner of Huntsville and Walker County's premier funeral home, Sam Houston Memorial. What makes us the premier funeral home? The reasons are simple. Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home has the premier facilities in the area and our directors and staff are top of the line offering premier care for you and your loved ones in their time of need. Locally owned and family managed for two decades, it's our family's honor to serve yours. Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, your hometown experts at celebrating life. Welcome back here, 20 seconds here, left to go in this timeout, a nine point lead for Kingwood Park. Just over two minutes here left to go. Huntsville has the ball underneath the Kingwood Park basket. A quick look here, or maybe a three to get down will make this game a whole lot more interesting for the last two minutes. There he is, down to Chad Johnson for two. Gets that one to go, nice lay in there. Through some contact, lead down to seven now. Garcia gets the ball in. Gotta Huntsville, get back, gotta now get Huntsville back. scrambling on defense. Oh. That one check back. Derek Hood takes that one away. Forward pass to Demarcus. Here's Butler now. Butler drives baseline, kicks it. Demarcus Williams. He'll go up for two. No good. Rebound to Johnson. And Johnson gets that one to town with the glass. And Coach Olfant will call a timeout. Lead down to five now. See if it's a 30 or a full. Full. Oh. It will be a full timeout, but I want to keep it here. Yep. Carlos, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Five, five left to go. I'm sorry. Five points is the deficit with just under two minutes here left to go. And Kingwood Park can just can't find, figure out this press now well, they in can the get, back half. They, they can't get the ball in, but when they get the ball in, they're, they, they're getting down the court pretty well now. Yes. Now, what a play by Derek Hood there to check back and poke that one free. A little four point swing there from two turnovers there caused by this Huntsville defense. Carlos, what do you like out of this break here for Huntsville? Keep doing what you're doing on this press, but you've got to get someone back. And I mean, look at the guys you're rolling out here right now. Freshman in Johnson, freshman in Butler. Williams is one of those leaders out there, but I believe he's just a sophomore. And then Derek Hood, sophomore. Your young guys out there right now to try and make some plays here. Only one starter in right now, and that's uh, Chad Johnson. But whatever it is, it's, it's working. You're not out of this yet. Minute 51, keep getting some stops and some quality shots. You're in this. Here's Garcia trying to find someone to go to. Finds Burning and bring him in the corner. Burning him will get past Johnson here, not past half court. 145 here left to go. That one, using his elbows there. Burningham gets it back now. Burningham can try to dribble this one out. And now to Flores. Hood now. Good oh. and foul. We call a foul there on Hood. It will lead to a one and one set of free throws here coming up for Trent Burningham. Well, if you can get a miss here, get a rebound, be smart with the ball. As Pearson's going to check back in here in a moment. Or how about now? That'll be Hood checking in here for Pearson. So it's Butler, Pearson, Johnson, Keyshawn Alexander, and Demarcus Williams. First critical free throw here for Trent Burningham at the line. Up and gets the roll in. Six point lead now for Kingwood Park. A minute 32 left to go. Burningham second as good as well. Good set of free throws there. Need a bucket. Seven point lead now. A quality one. Pearson thought about a three, kicks out to Johnson now. A lot of clock now moving off. Johnson with the tough lay in. Wow. Gets it to go off the scoop from the left hand there. A good finish. Lead down to five now, minute 12. That one almost stolen by Butler. Burningham. Flores, Flores needs to get it across the court, and he does get it to Henderson. That one mm. to Sanford. Sanford gets it to Flores. Under a minute here left to go. 
That was almost a backcourt. Sanford. Now there's the take foul there on Flores. Butler's going to take the foul. One and one. That's your last one and one to give. It's two free throws the rest of the way on your next foul. So you're praying for a miss. First free throw was good. And look at, I mean, you look at a tale of two different like classes right here. All underclassmen on one side, and only one junior for Kingwood Park, and the rest are seniors. That free throw is missed there by Flores. Pearson will get the rebound, try to go quick with it. Pearson gets it up to DeMarcus. DeMarcus kicks out to Butler. Butler, 39 seconds left to go. Johnson, a lot of clock. He falls. Good save, though. Butler, oh, going to walk with it. 33 seconds here to go. Six point lead now for Kingwood Park. As Kingwood Park's going to take a 30 second timeout. Carlos, let's thank some of our sponsors real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Bill Fick Ford, no bull, just good deals. AB Squared Self Storage, your local go to self storage facility. Wiesner Huntsville, home of the bottom line. And Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, our presenting sponsor because everyone deserves to be remembered. 22 seconds here left to go out of this timeout. Under, I'm sorry, 33 seconds left to go in the rest of the game. Six-point lead here for Kingwood Park. Luke Scott here alongside Carlos Zerman. Special thanks to Christian Cortez rolling our camera tonight. Fab fabulous job he's done all season long. And he'll be with us for uh, softball coming up yes, too, won't he, he will be. Yes, he will be. Christian will be helping us out along with Houston Hardcastle and then another good friend of ours, Doing our camera work, former Huntsville Lady Hornet second baseman Alexis Taylor. She'll help us out as well all season long. We got a great crew here at KSAM Sports devoted to these teams here oh, in Huntsville. Only the best crew here, Carlos. Here's Trent now bringing in the court. Burningham's going to try to dribble this one out. Gets it out to Sanford now. Sanford, here's Pearson taking the foul there. Now it That's will be two fouls, two free throws here coming up. Yep for Kingwood Park and Davion Sanford. I'd hate to be a pessimist, but if he knocks both of these down, it might very well could be out of reach. Maybe get a couple misses here and get a quick three up, but you gotta leave it in the hands of your facilitator, Aiden Pearson, if you get the opportunity. Oh, now that rim's being nice. Two juniors, three seniors now on the court for Kingwood Park. Sophomores and freshmen here on the court. Pronsville, those two free throws are good, and that will wrap things about up. Still hope here. Here's Hood. Kicks out to DeMarcus. DeMarcus goes to the lane. Good finish there. Six seconds here left to go. 11 here in the game. Eight seconds. There's a foul there. Allison Sanford back to the free throw line. Forty-eight, forty-two, and uh, a really young team suffering. It's you know one of its clo closest losses all season in a, in a really tough matchup. And a really, a really a, a, a season that Huntsville has taken its blows, but no doubt they will bounce back better next year and the year after. An exciting group here for Jay Olfan. Just a really young group as well as that first free throw is good. You know, and you make a good point. The fact that they had themselves in position for a playoff spot, just a testament to the future of this team. Now free throw good there, out to an eight point lead. Seven seconds here left to go, Johnson. Finds his man there, Demarcus Williams. Marcus Williams will finish at the rim and get that one to go in the basketball count. But nonetheless, a 50 to 44 loss here for Huntsville. That will knock Huntsville out of any side of playoff implication. And that will wrap things up here for the season. We'll come back with post game here in a bit. From the Horn Nation Broadcast Network, this is K Sam Sports.
the Hornet Nation Broadcast Network, powered by KSAM Sports, welcomes you to the Huntsville Hornets post-game wrap-up. For stats and analysis of tonight's game, let's go back to the court and join Luke Scott and head coach Jay Oliphant. Welcome back here courtside. A 50-44 to loss here to wrap up the season. Head coach, head coach Jay Oliphant with us, coach. Your thoughts on tonight's matchup? Oh, I thought we came out and hit uh, extreme intensity. I thought the defense was phenomenal throughout the night. Uh, I thought we even rebounded the ball pretty well, but just the inability to put the ball in the basket is, is tough. I mean, you can guard somebody all day long, but you have to be able to put the ball in the hole. Coach, I mean, you know, you've got such a young squad here. I mean, you're on that on that inbounds play with about a five point game, and you guys were still in it. You had just a lot of underclassmen out there. I mean, just the testament. What's the point of this tenacity that this young squad has had all season long? Well, it's fortunate for them, but it's an unfortunate deal. You know, I normally don't have to depend on guys that young to have to come in and really depend on them to help me. Uh, so they they came in, they played a big role in the season, and hopefully they grew them up for next year. Coach. I want to talk, keep talking about the, the young on this team, the youth. They're taking their blows early. What's coming up here next season? You know, I know it's way too early to really think about it, but a lot to look forward to here coming up for Huntsville basketball. Well, the main thing, a lot of those older guys are going to have to develop a, a little bit over the summer. Uh, you know, I had quite a few sophomores and junior guys up there that didn't produce that much, not as much as I thought they would. So they're going to have to get better because I got some guys from the middle school that can do some things that some of them can't do right now. Coach, you had one senior this year, Braden Roselle. Just mean talk to me about what he's meant to this program. And you know, Roselle's been a part of the program for four years, uh, and you know, he's kind of prides himself on what I, I believe in. He's, he works hard, he dedicates his stuff, and that's why he was able to stay around. Coach, personally, I want to thank you for helping us out throughout the way for the whole season. We're, we're looking forward to get back next year. Appreciate your time. Uh, have a good night, and thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate y'all being at the games and all the support, even in the wins and the losses. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Coach, Absolutely. appreciate it. Wow. That was head coach Jay Elephant there, a 50-44 to 44 loss. And there he is right there. Carlos, your final thoughts on tonight's matchup? I mean, just a tough one for Huntsville. I mean, they were, they were in it really for most of that ball game, and even when they got down – by 11, 12 points there. They fought their way back. They didn't give up on the ball game. Just a tough way to lose and end the season, of course. But, you know, of course, like we said, and head coach Jay Alfin said, this team's got a huge, bright future going forward yeah. with, a, you know, an incredible point guard and Aiden Pearson leading the way. And then you got Jawan Giddens, a premier defender underneath, as well as Hezekiah Johnson as well. I mean, you get him to bulk up a little bit more. I mean, he'll be an incredible big underneath with his size. And then the young guys, Brett Butler, Chad Johnson, just like we said all season long, jumping from eighth grade, the varsity ball, it's the one of the toughest jumps in all of uh, athletics. So this team's going to be very good next year, uh, and I don't think they'll be in the bottom half of the district. Carlos, want to thank you for helping us out today. Of course, Christian Cortez, Houston Hardcastles helped us throughout the year. Kendall Morris, Colin Neal's helped me out all this time. want to thank all of them. Good night and God bless here from Huntsville. As we want to thank our sponsors one more time. Bill Fick for Noble Just Good Deals, AB Squared Self Storage, your local go-to self storage facility, and Sam Houston Memorial, Fu Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, because everyone has a good uh, deserves a place to be remembered. And of course, Wiesner of Huntsville, home of the bottom line. That'll be it. Huntsville lost tonight, 50 to 44. We'll be right back here. Let's see, softball season coming up. And if you're not, yes. if you're done listening right now, switch over to the girls' game. They need your support. They're up 31-26 right now in the third quarter. So long, good night, and God bless. Over to you, Colin. This has been a presentation of Huntsville Hornet Basketball on the Hornet Nation Broadcast Network, powered by KSM Sports. No portion of this broadcast may be used or transmitted in any other form without the express written consent of Huntsville High School Athletics, our broadcast partners, and 101.7 KSAM. Thanks for watching, and sting them, Hornets.